My name is Mark Crawford. Uh, I've lived in Castor Valley since elementary school. Uh, so I went to elementary school and um, junior high and high school here in Castor Valley, uh, my wife as well. Um, I've been on the Mac since June 2010. Under the, the setup that we have now being advisory, we essentially look at uh, virtually all applications that have anything to do with Castor Valley within the Castor Valley general plan area. And uh, we also look at proposed ordinances that would be either countywide or affect Castor Valley in any way. And we, you know, basically make a recommendation to the next body that it goes to as to, you know, what we feel changes should be made or um, in the case of applications, what, um, what you know, conditions of approval maybe need to be added or modified in order to make the application better. Part of what the MAC needs to do going forward is we need to do a better job of communicating with the public about what we do, the issues that we're looking at, how it affects the public. Um, a good example of that recently in the Castor Valley General Plan is the, the public facility zoning district that we were trying to get uh, enacted. Most people don't think about that. Um, the only time that you know it's really affecting you is when it takes you 45 minutes to drive to Canyon and back to get your kid from school or to take your kid in the morning. So we're looking at issues and we're trying to uh, address issues that most people don't think about, but they have a dramatic effect on the quality of life for all the residents of Castro Valley. Well, um, there's a lot of big issues. I mean, I'll, I'll answer that from the MAC standpoint. We just completed all, all the work on the Castro Valley General Plan. The Board of Supervisors literally just uh, finalized that last week. So um, that's, uh, that's a big one to get that taken care of. It was seven years in the making. Um, I think going forward, uh, we really need to figure out what we want to do on the boulevard. What do we want the boulevard to look like? I think uh, economic development is something that's important. We've got a lot of businesses that have, that have gone out of business, restaurants and such. Uh, we've got a lot of vacant uh, commercial space. We've got a lot of commercial space that really just needs to be bulldozed and something something new put in its place. And, and we need to decide as a community, what do we want that to look like? Something like the Daughtry's building. The last proposal on that was to dem demolish the building, fill in the hole, and put something new up there. Um, that was, of course, before the redevelopment agency dissolved, but that really gives us, uh, I think, a rare opportunity to uh, figure out what do we want our downtown to look like. Do we want it to kind of look like Walnut Creek? Do we want it to look like Pleasanton? Uh, do we want it to be uniquely Castor Valley in, in kind of our own way? So I, I, I think fixing up our boulevard and, and figuring out uh, economic development from the MAC standpoint is, is, is really the most important thing going forward. I would really like to see the MAC uh, moving forward get uh, the ability to have their decisions be binding. Um, the advisory uh, capacity that we have now is too limited uh, in a lot of ways. Um, a, good, a good example of that was um, recently uh, we had a number of uh, folks that wanted a, a, an alcohol ordinance and the way it was drafted and, and was going through the approval process you essentially would not even be able to have any more restaurants uh, that serve alcohol uh, to open up in the unincorporated area. And Castor, the MAC made a certain recommendation on that. It went on to the BZA and other decision-making bodies. And you know, once again, you've got people outside of Castor Valley making a decision on how we should live. And honestly, we need to try to we need to get as much local control as possible. If we can never incorporate because we just can't get it passed, then the MAC is really our vehicle to uh, get as much local control as possible. Right now, uh, there is a, a move by the council and others to uh, become a BZA, uh, a, board of, a board of zoning adjustments, which uh, is, is the, the body that decides conditional use permits. It decides 
um, things like code enforcement. And, you know, it has police powers to some degree, and there, it's that's a very important role within the community. Um, there's some legal issues with how that can be done. It would probably be more like the MAC would become a BZA for the Castor Valley General Plan area, and then it would have advisory duties as well as far as all the other advisory things that we do now. Um, but that would be a huge step in the right direction for uh, us having control over what happens in our community.